Greetings Penny Pinchers, today we're going to have a look at a uh, pretty simple build for a 2x3 input stereo panning mixer. Let's have a little listen. Okay, that's enough of that. My source for this uh, project was from uh, another Ray Wilson schematic. This was just to get an idea of uh, how the pan pots are configured, and I've left out the uh, stereo headphone uh, circuit and adapted it for my needs. So you soon realise that once you've got a few synth voices and percussion voices, uh, even if you've got, um, you know, built uh, some mono mixers, it gets a bit cluttered. And uh, this uh, will help define a bit of space. And um, I've subgrouped the synth voices to one stereo out and the percussion voices to another. So we can get a bit of uh, control there and add separate effects in the mixer. So... Uh, Definitely build this one because, uh, it's, like I say, it's going to give you some uh, room to separate these uh, voices. Mm, okay, here's the fun part. Uh, this is my layout. Pretty straightforward. Um, have a good, good old look at this. Have a think about it if you need to. I think I've laid it out pretty clearly. On the left there is uh, what I'm calling the A channel and on the right the B channel. It's uh, got the inputs and the panning potentiometers laid out. If you do uh, come unstuck, uh, I probably will answer any questions in the comments section. Now I didn't have any 50k uh, pots for the uh, panning. Uh, myself, I, I use 10k and I, I haven't had a problem with that. Just make sure that you use linear B pots uh, for the panning. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned for the level inputs. And also make sure you use a stereo jack for the two outputs. I think that's pretty much it. Like I say, any questions, leave, leave it in the comments and definitely build this module. Um, there's very little that can go wrong, and if it does go wrong, it's highly likely it's your fault. And don't forget to ground everything. Also, um, if you are a newbie, then yeah, just um, go with it and uh, research anything that you need to, or uh, ask a friend. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.